Okay, so this is my uh, mirror dinghy jib furler. Um, as you can see here, I've used this uh, plate to create spacing there. In old money, that's about six inches. And that gives us uh, the ability to um, uh, have the jib parallel to the forestay with a gap of about two inches, which is essential. The, uh, the line here runs up the sail through the jib hanks as per usual. Uh, but of course the sail is already felled up and then at the top we've got a furling drum at the bottom and then a top furler here what's important is that the line uh, sorry the line is attached separately to the um, uh, the actual jib so the jib is through this fitting here and then separately the line is as well okay so we can clip on down here, like so, and we're ready to rock and roll. So let's just heave her up, and it's very unceremonious. You can see at the top there, it's just a standard mirror dinghy uh, block that we've got there. One thing that's essential is not to get this too tight, because if we do, the failing drum won't work, it will, uh, it will be under too much tension. So this is actually really quite slack, that's possibly a little bit too slack, I'm not sure. Um, but to then sail, uh, wrong side, to get sailing, as per usual, we only fail like so. It takes a few attempts and there's no power in the sail at the moment so it's not fully unfurled. Um, it's not caught in the cleat. And then to furl it back up, I'm running a line aft, very simple. Kept it all nice and simple. Line comes aft to here. And I can half, half furl it up, or I can uh, hold the whole lot in. And it's jammed on the force day at the moment because there's no wind in the sail. That's because there's no wind in the sail. I also want a better way of fastening that on. I think I'm actually going to tie it direct to the sail actually next time I actually sail. So I've just finished furling up. So that's pretty rough actually, unfortunately, but because uh, of that. But yeah, you can see it's, I can pull that away in seconds or um, alternatively, if I just need to depower then I can just you know, kind of have it part way open. Yeah, let's give it a bit more. And there we go. So I've just oh, I've got a bit unneat because it got jammed on the floor today, but otherwise there we are. It works really well. I've had no problem with it at all. Uh, key point is this gap here. That is key, because otherwise if they're too close together, this is just going to wrap around the forestay. It's a, a key point is that. That's possibly a little bit slack, but you can see at the top there, I've got very little to play with, uh, and at the bottom as well. Only, if I tighten that about one centimetre more up, that would, be, that would be as far as I need to go. So that's my idea. Um, Hope you like that. Thanks.